That's going. So chat GP being useless again. Look. I tried multiple times with this thing and what it says is just it's complete gibberish, right? It says okay. So here's my situation. Here's my situation. Um here's Tesla, so it's face it's gonna go bankrupt, in my opinion. In my opinion, right? I'm almost certain it's gonna go to like seven dollars before it goes bankrupt. Alright? But as a long-term investor, I don't want to sit every day and wait for opportunity to sell, right? So I'm thinking, okay, if I buy, so I I found a company that shorts Tesla, right? So let's say, whatever, I buy, I'm not going to mention how much, but let's say we invest some money. To, let, let's say, I don't know, let's just say wh whatever, 50000 50,000, okay? So, if Tesla loses 50% of its value, right? So, 50% of value goes, my 50,000 becomes 100,000, right? Then it, lose, then it loses again 50%, it becomes 200,000. But then the question is, then Tesla declares bankruptcy, what happens then? Because technically, it went from this value to zero, does that mean I earned... Oh, oh my god. Uh, does that mean like I... What happens to the short? Do you understand? What I'm trying to, what I'm trying to figure out. And nowhere on the internet <laughs> doesn't say that. Now, it said something which is complete gibberish. If you look at it, look, it says... If you short a Tesla stock and the company goes bankrupt, the stock would likely become worthless or nearly worthless. All right, so it says the stock of the company is worthless. As a result, you would be able to buy back the shares at much lower price. But the stock doesn't exist anymore because it's bankrupt. It's delisted. So who exactly am I going to buy it from? And who exactly am I going to sell it to? Do you know what I'm saying? I understand for big investors, like people who buy, um, like, for example, this guy here, Gordon... One sec, let me find this guy. Yeah, so Gordon Johnson, right? He's an analyst. I mean, he's... I, I like what he says. He analyzes really well, right? But he says you can make money by shorting stock, right? But he makes his own contracts. Oh, by the way, you want to watch this video. Uh, this guy is a Tesla pumper versus uh, Gordon Johnson. It was hilarious to watch. This guy has no idea what he's talking about, and this guy is a professional investor, and it was honestly was hilarious conversation. Because this guy is a YouTuber. <laughs> and this guy is a professional certified investor who been doing this since he was in diapers, basically. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like this guy is like, well, uh, it's going to go up because uh, it's awesome. And, and, uh, uh, I looked at Chinese numbers and they are awesome. And he's like, anyway, it, it was hilarious video, just hilarious, honestly. So you see, like when he shorts stock and he buys probably like I don't know, probably like 20 million, 30 million, he makes the contract with the company, and he covers the aspect of what happens if uh, Tesla goes bankrupt, right? There's probably some kind of a clause in the contract, but I'm saying that if I go ahead and buy from here, I mean, what's the clause? Because if, based on my reading, if Tesla gets delisted, the entire stock gets delisted, and therefore the ETP, or which is the extra traded traded product, gets delisted, gets delisted as well. So in theory, even though you made the right call, saying that uh, this company is gonna go bust, and you're still gonna lose all your money, right? Because that's what I'm thinking. Because again, like, short is when you borrow the share, um, right? Well, when, when you borrow the share, you share it right now, and then you rebuy it at later price, a uh, lower price. That's how you make money, because you make money on the difference. But if there's no share to buy, well, te technically you already sold it, right? Yeah, but that's the short maker. But I'm talking about if I'm holding, if I'm part of the pie that is holding those shorts. 
what happens then? Uh, I might just email. I might just email these guys and ask them, you know? But again, like you see, like, I mean, chat, whatever it's called, chat GPT or whatever it's called, right? I mean, it's not being useful, again. Okay, take care, bye-bye.